when you are a damn gorgeous reader and you need the perfect gorgeous deck to go with your energy, you would need the palette card. So beautiful, so gorgeous, your reading will show your past, present, and your foreseeable future with amazing colors. Get the palette deck by Sap. Helios, welcome to my channel. We're doing your tarot after dark. Um, before we start, I just want to give you guys a heads up. It is done in the dark. It's called tarot after dark. And it's not for everybody. It is triggering. We explore the darkest part of a relationship, the shadow side. Things that probably we don't want to hear. This is where it's going to be found. So if you are going to stay, we can begin okay let's see so let's see what's the energy for the leos let's see what you guys have okay the first card that flip is the full card the full card represents here i feel like the relationship itself it's just so hard to figure you just don't understand where it's going you don't understand if they're committed to you. Is it just casual? What is it really? The fool represent, um, you know, taking a chance, a leap of faith. But here, you can clearly see that it's like, it's like even a prisoner who just got out, or it's a person who just got out of the bed, and just doesn't know what they're doing. So this is the energy of the relationship. It took off, but there's no sense of direction. There's no sense of loyalty. You know, are they really just for you or you're, you're just someone that they're seeing? Because it feels like the energy is also about mockery. Because it's like, oh, look at you. You're liking me. You know, someone is, you know, b basically got you on the wraps and you're here trying to figure it out. Okay, like, what is this about? Am I stupid? to have any kind of feelings towards this person, the emotions that you're giving to them. It's like, what is it really? Those things. Now, it appears that if they're not with you, clearly they got all these different people that they talk to. So now it comes to a casual connection. So you're going to ask yourself, are they devoted to you even though they're talking to other people? Because, of course, you're not the only person in the world and they're entertaining. You ask them, are you, are you committed to me? Are we exclusive? The person doesn't um, reply or they just brush it off to the side. Now, you, you can see that this person is actively talking to other people with the Six of Wands. Um, that's the energy of, look at this, like, they have so many hands there. So they extend themselves to different people here and there. Can be acquaintances, of course. Some can be past relationships. Some can, some can be new. And then they're just talking, you know. But there's so many clamoring about this person. Okay. So you have been um, loyal to them with the Queen of Pentacles. You have, you know, you're putting that coin towards them. You're invested and it's something important to you of course who, you know whoever we spend time with that's an investment on our end because you know our life is being dedicated to them so that's how you are dedicated you know the the queen of pentacles is caring the queen of pentacles is uh it's the homebody also not in a cancerian queen of cups way but more of you take care of everything that needs to be taken care of being responsible you know, not homemaker. This is not a homemaker. You're more the responsible type in the relationship. Eight of Swords. It appears that you're shocked by the way that this person has treated you. It feels like you had loyalty to them. Had, that's what I said, not have. Because you're here, it's like, okay, like, it, it looks like, you know, this is a suicide, um, you know, relationship for you because it's like you're falling off over here and they're not even um, minding you, looking at you. They don't even know that you're suffering over here and yet they're talking to all those people. Mm -hmm. 
it just feels like you are not their priority and something else or someone else so there is a card of side piece for me this is the card of side piece which is a two of cups here um the way i see it it's uh you know it's an intention to talk to someone in you know because it feels like for me it's a dark alley so it's a hidden affair that they have with someone else and this is how they are with you. So they can be like all lovey-dovey with other people, such as one, whoever they're connecting with. And then with you, they're a little bit aloof. And then on your end, you're saying here, like, I can't believe that you're doing this to me, Eight of Swords, while, while you have given them all, okay, with the Queen of Pentacles. So the Two of Cups here, the reason why I said that there's, you know, there's this, uh, presence already of someone could have a baby they're engaged already intimately to this person they're actively um dating this person consistently this is not just a one-time fling no um with a magician um this is my spoiled cup of love that's that um different intentions comes from this person the person can give you a cup and you still feel like you are the one you're so in love with them the magician got uh, has you in its tricks in its rap and then um, their intention is clearly, uh, you know, it's not clear. Now, they may act, okay, all stupid with the fool. In reality, they have an agenda. And basically, you fell for that agenda, Eight of Swords. Um, you're trying to take back your power, which is good. That's the emperor. You're trying to do the right thing for you. You're putting your feet on the ground already. And the bull over here represent for me, it's like being convict, you know, like uh, convicted. Like you're strong, you know, you're receiving your conviction. Is that what it is? Where you're saying it's like, no, this has to happen. This has to stop. Um, when you did that, I feel like they distanced themselves to you and they made you beg for any kind of reply or attention. So even though you put your feet on the ground already here, they managed basically, okay, so you stay there since you're saying here you're tough. Then now this person is triggering you. How tough are you? And again, you feel like so betrayed about this. Um, it feels like, let me see. Yeah. Um, if you try to be greedy with this person, it doesn't work out. Like if you try just to, oh, you know, I'm going to shut down, no contact, because that's actually what they expect. They expect you to take what they can give and then just be on your way because I feel that they are engaged already here. Like they're very invested in this card. Now is the question, considering that you're here, you're still hoping the star is a wish you're here because you still want this to manifest even though of course you're already shocked you know you already put your you know your feet on the ground over here and this person has treated you like this for you there's so much hope there's so much love that you want to pour towards this person i'm going to continue this reading link down there in the description box below for the extended this is your tire after dark